Thanks for checking out the video. In this one, I want to show you guys how I make beef jerky for outdoor trips, events, overnight weekend trips, that sort of thing. Georgia Kayak Fishing has a overnight weekend trip coming up on Little Tybee Island. Paddle from an inhabited island to an island where no buildings, no water, no electricity. Camp out for the weekend. So, I like to do uh, like a big bag of beef jerky when I go out on these trips. And I want to show you guys how I make it. I pick out the meat that doesn't show a lot of fat. Uh, fat spoils the fastest in beef jerky, like if there's any fat on it, that'll spoil before the meat does. But I've got like, let's see, sirloin chunks and uh, sirloin strips. That's what I got, two pounds of it, and I got 10, 11 bucks worth of meat, um, two pounds, and I'm using these Jack Daniels marinade in a bag. And these are great, um, there's different flavors of marinade, like the classic steakhouse, smoky mesquite are the ones that I use. Garlic and herb, haven't used that one yet. And uh, the honey teriyaki. So in this one we're doing the honey teriyaki. Um, what's great about this stuff is it comes in a real heavy duty bag for marinade. You know, you just put your meat in, let it sit, um, and, uh, and go. And in the marinade it's honey teriyaki, but it's got a lot of the ingredients you would use to cure meat. Um, salt, distilled white vinegar, um, various types of acid, lactic acid, phosphoric acid, citric acid, um, all these things you can use to, to cure meat for uh, preservation. And uh, so this bag is awesome, great products, uh, Jack Daniels uh, marinade. So once I get the meat in here, I let it sit for two hours, room temperature, just like that, right on top of the dehydrator. This is just a cheap Presto Dehydro food dehydrator. I think I picked it up from uh, Walmart years ago, seven or eight years ago. Still works, still use it all the time. This is what I, I use to dehydrate all my um, trail foods and camping foods, kayaking foods, that sort of thing. And um, so this has been setting almost two hours now. So uh, I'm gonna cut off the camera and uh, come back once this is done, show you guys the process I use to, uh, to prep it for the dehydrator. So. Stay tuned. All right, we've had about two hours of marinade um, on this meat. It is good to go, nice and soft. So again, the beauty of this bag, you know, you can pack it in with you if you wanted to, if you were staying overnight, or you can use it for uh, beef jerky like I do. Um, so it's got a nice heavy duty zipper on top, just like that. And we'll take a like a container. All right, so you want to get the excess uh, marinade and that sort of thing off the meat, but you don't want to add water, right? We don't want to uh, add more moisture and hydration um, to the marinade. Uh, we just want to kind of drain off what is already there. So what you do is get like a plate and uh, line the plate with like paper towels or napkins and just start relocating um, the meat into the paper plate. Napkins are gonna soak it up. Make sure you shake it, get as much off as you can. And uh, any excess from the bag is just gonna fall to the bottom of the pan that you dumped everything in. Okay, so now we transferred into a plate. We'll just take some napkins, just like that, kind of damp it. Get it to soak up as much as possible. There can be some on there, it's fine. It's not gonna hurt it. Um, if it is gooped up, like I said, it's just going to be kind of, it's going to have, pack a punch of flavor. It's going to be very, very, very flavorful. All right. 
So now we're going to get the uh, dehydrator rolling. Just plug it in. I have an on off button. You just plug that thing in and let it ride. And we'll go tray by tray and just load up the tray. As you can see, like the meat, it's got some marinade on it, but it's not like gooped up all over. Super thin. So thin to you. clean up, clean the kitchen, get everything rolling, and just leave it. Leave it just like that for about 12 hours. So here's the finished product of the teriyaki Jack Daniels beef jerky that I've made for the GKF Little Tybee Trip. Uh, a few things I want to point out. You want the meat to be fully dehydrated uh, before you bag it up and carry it around in your backpack or a dry bag or whatever. Uh, you want as much moisture out of that meat as possible. That's going to prolong um, how long you can carry it around unrefrigerated in your pocket in a pack whatever. But uh, you should be good to go up to two, three weeks um, before, you know, some of the little bit of fat that's in the meat starts to spoil. Uh, but really, I mean, when I make a batch of this, it's gone. I don't bring any back <laughs> after, after that weekend trip in the outdoors, you know. It does not come back with me. Uh, but you want the meat to be, you know, firm to hard. You do not want it to be spongy. If it's spongy, you might have to cut it up and put it back on the dehydrator. You also want it to have that nice red to brown to dark translucent color all the way through the meat uh, you don't want spongy and light brown so there it is that's my recipe for teriyaki jack daniels beef jerky that i take on paddling trips and camping trips hiking trips whatever so uh hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or comments let me know if you have your own uh, marinades that you want me to try leave that information in the comments thanks have a good one